Here we have a transformer that's designed to be taken apart so people can see how it works. It's called a dissectable transformer. And uh, when we take it apart, we can see the two sets of coils that make it up. This, and you can see you can take it apart there. This one has 110 loops of wire, 110. This side has 880 loops of wire. You can see they're way thinner, so you can fit them all in there. And uh, here's the iron core. And uh, the iron core isn't solid. It's made up of thin plates of steel that are kind of laminated. And they have an insulator in between. And the whole reason behind that is you prevent eddy currents from forming. Little currents that race around inside the iron core, heating it up. And of course, when it heats up, you lose electrical energy into heat, which makes it inefficient. OK, let's put it back together. So let's turn it on and see what we get. Now you can see the input voltage here is 6.7. So that's the number we will use. The output voltage is 39.6. Now here comes question one. What would you have expected the output voltage to be? Now for question two, we're, we'll compare the currents. And we're measuring current in the primary, current in the secondary. Let's have a look. So, in the primary, let's go with a number of 4.1 amps. And in the secondary, we've got 0 0.35 amps. Now, here comes question two. What would you have expected the output current to be? So, question three is going to be, please find the input power and the output power. Now, here comes question four, and this is your last one, trust me. Please calculate the efficiency of this transformer. Now, it's definitely not going to be an ideal transformer, which has an efficiency of 100%. So, please find out what it is. <laughs>